Right, building a base for a summer house. Just laid out the plan. It's five meters by three meters. It's going to be a timber up there, a timber down there, one in between on the ends, and then joists in between, hung on joist hangers. Dug one all. Need to get down to clay or stone, whatever the subsoil is. Then I'm going to put four inch of concrete in the bottom level and sit my posts on that. Then once this is made like a big table, joist in between, it'll get covered in a board, floorboard or plywood, we haven't decided yet. And then there's like a, a cabin going on top of the bought that, so we'll be building that. But I've laid it all out square, three, four, five on the corners, measured it diagonally to make sure it's square. It's got lots of holes to dig now. Right back here, it's been about a week. All these holes have been dug. And they've got about four inches of concrete in. Rain washed some of the mud in, so we've cleaned that out a bit. I've laid it out roughly square, packed it up, somewhat like level. But this timber on this front, it's straight. But it's got quite a twist in it. I've got a ratchet strap on that end and we're going to try and pull this end together with rope. I've got a loop in here. I've tied a loop here. I'm going to fish that rope through there. And this will work like a pulley system then. I'm going to pull that. That should pull that in. But it doesn't. So, what I'm going to do is put another loop here. Come on, speed up. <laughs> I'm going to put another loop here. Oh. I don't, I'd edit that out if I were you. <laughs> put another loop there. Pull it that way. See if that works. I'm at the limit of my knock style. That's it, I can't pull it anymore. I'm going to tie this off. Come on. <laughs> Just hold your, hold your knot like that. Loop that around. Pull it through. That'll hold that. Right, that worked to a degree, but he didn't pull it up completely. A thicker rope might have helped, more knots. More knots would have given it more pull, but somebody's going to the shop to buy some proper straps. Look at the size of them. Oh, that did the trick.
rip blade in the machine here makes it easier cutting along the grain on the post. Right, all them posts are in, start putting the joists in, we're going to go on joist hangers like that, them straps work to treat, I pulled the joists, there's another one at that end, a bit bigger than I expected but they did the job, that's what's important, get all the joists in, 400 centres, I put the timber, clamped the timber to the bottom there, so I can sit one joist, one joist end on there, go across, and I'll just tack it with nail gun, just hold it in place while I get the joist hanger on, and I can come back and do this end, work my way along. I'm going to put the joist hangers on with this strap shot nailer. Nails stick out the end so you can get them in the holes easier. They put these in and get some out. Twist nails, about 38mm I think. Right, that's done. Joystanger tops are going to get cut off by the owners. It's late now, I've had enough. Put a string line down the middle, put a load of noggins in, stiffens the joists up. These joists are terrible, so bends, cups, all sorts. The holes will get backfilled with gravel, I think. I think that's what he's talking about. They're going to do that anyway. Yeah, that's it. That's done.